That's how many people have changed things in the world and become billionaires. Look at what the Bible says in the next verse. The Lord saying, after he has done this, making a roadway in the wilderness and rivers in the, de in the desert, he said, the beast of the field shall do what? They shall honor me. That's the Lord's word. When you do something new, you will be honored. Hallelujah. Say the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And why did he do that? He said, because to give drink to my people, my chosen ones. Pastor said something. He said, success is looking out for a need and meeting that need. There are many who have needs. And God has given you the wisdom and the opportunity for you to meet those needs in a systematic manner. And when you are about meeting those needs, you will find that the wealth of the nations will begin to journey towards you. Why? Because there are so many problems in the world, but indeed we are the solution. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know whether you just got that. You are the solution. Many problems in the world today, but you are the solution to the problems of the world. All you need to do is identify, Lord, what can I solve? And then you begin to solve them one after the other. Hallelujah. And in the process of doing that, get rid of discouragers. If you can write that down, write it. Get rid of discouragers. Because you will always have some folks. Sometimes they are in your family. Sometimes they are your friends. And you know what God does sometimes is that he begins to push them away from you. But oftentimes, a lot of us, we try to drag them back. Because, you know, they have been our old time friends. You know, this person, I mean, this person has known me now for the past seven years. He's my very good friend. And the person has started avoiding you. And so you, you, you are like, ah, is it because I'm going to church? Maybe I should spend some extra time with these, my friends, rather than going to church. No, 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 no. If the person is always moving and moving away from you, don't worry. It's time for you to rejoice. Can somebody say amen? amen. You rejoice. Because God is the one who's busy pushing them away from you. So it's important for you to get rid of those who discourage you. Jesus did exactly that. And I'll show you the script, a scripture concerning that. Mark chapter 5, from verse 35. Mark 5, from verse 35. Those who tell you you cannot, you can't do it. Imagine if I was listening to the doctors and the physios. Six weeks. Six, after six weeks, then I will start. No, I don't start after six weeks. I start from day one, in as much as my Lord has said so. Bible says, while he yet spake, there was a man that came to Jesus. His name was Jairus. And he said, oh, my daughter is sick and at the point of death. Jesus said, all right, we are going to go and see your daughter. Then on Jesus' way, some, some other miracle took place. A lady came who had an issue, with, uh, issue of blood and came and began to touch the hem of his garment. And Jesus stopped and began to attend to that one. And Jairus stood by the side. His daughter was at the point of death. Now Jesus finished ministering to that woman. And after that, the Bible says, verse 35, While he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue, that's Jairus' house, some people which said, Your daughter now, congratulations, is dead. That which was sick and at the point of death has now finally died. It's all over. And they said to him, thy daughter is dead, so why are you troubling the master? Just leave Jesus alone. Let him go elsewhere. He's a busy man. Let him go. The, whole, the situation is hopeless now. It's all over. As soon as Jesus heard the word, he responded. The Bible says, he said to Jairus, that's the ruler of the synagogue, he said, don't be afraid. Tell him, but don't be afraid. He said, don't be afraid. Only believe. The words from these, permit me to call them clowns, were to come in and sow fear and disbelief, unbelief, into Jairus. And Jesus said, stop the fear. Strengthen your faith. Believe. You came to me for a solution, and I told you we are going. Now you heard the matter has gone worse. I remember a man of God sometimes tells us, things must get worse for them to get better. Oftentimes, things get worse. 
So just because the matter has gotten worse does not mean it is over. <laughs> it means the testimony is about to get sweeter. Can somebody shout glory? It's about to get sweeter. Testimony is about to get so wonderful. Why? Because things have just gotten worse. So Jesus said to him, he said, don't be afraid. Only believe. Believe. And then look at verse, 27, verse 37. And he suffered no man. He permitted no man to follow him. He said to every other person, stay behind. I have special people I want to go with me on this mission. 